Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at WinLater Frost version 7.1 Glipsy. Before we get all into that, let me talk about this emulator. If you guys have been following my channel, you guys know that I crowned WinLater Frost as the best Windows emulator for Android until the WinLater Glipsy version was released. The Glipsy version contains a lot of performance improvements, but finally, WinLater Glipsy update inside of the normal version of WinLater Frost, which means that it will have all the customization and tweaks of WinLater Frost along with the performance of WinLater Glipsy. If you guys don't know about WinLater Frost, it is basically an open source folk version of the normal WinLater aimed at achieving better customization, new options and also newer updates compared to the original WinLater Android. Here are the minimum requirements you need at least Android 10 or above along with Turnip Adreno driver. Virgil is also supported so Mali GPU Android devices can also use this emulator to run some Windows games till DirectX 9 or DirectX 10. Anyways, right here is the WinLater Glipsy version 7. 1.1.1 version 1 of WinLater Frost applied some modification, imported all environment from version 7, DX wrappers start menu options and much more. This is quite a large update compared to the other versions of WinLater Frost so let me add it on my Android tablet and I'll be back. And once you add it to your Android device just go ahead and open it. Now it will have same package name just like the original WinLater Glipsy version. So unfortunately if you are using the original Glipsy then you'll need to uninstall before you try out the WinLater Frost Glipsy version. Anyways once all the assets have been loaded now we are all set to start using the WinLater Frost version. We also get save game feature which is pretty interesting we'll take a look at it later on in this video but there we go we have the latest box 64 version we'll simply duplicate the performance preset and create our own performance preset by setting dynamic safe flags level to zero tap on ok then tap on the enter button then we'll simply create a brand new container and this is the process of using winlater frost because it has lot of dxvk versions and many other customization for example in terms of screen size just take a look at how many screen size are available inside winlater frost Though for today's video, I'll go with 1280 by 800 resolution, which is 16 is to 10 aspect ratio. In terms of graphics driver, set it to turnip, but you also get the ability to change the custom graphics driver version. I'll show that to you guys later on, but let's select DX wrapper as DXVK and DXVK version should be 2.3.1. Though there are a lot more DXVK versions available inside the WinLater Frost such as 1.10.3 and so on. Anyways, in terms of audio driver, we will select Pulse Audio and make sure to enable Show FPS option. Once that has been done, set the video memory size as 4GB and afterwards we go to Advanced Settings. Select the performance preset which we just created and here startup selection make sure to set it to Aggressive and processor affinity you can leave it all tick mark. Afterwards, we'll simply tap on the tick mark option and create our brand new container. Once that has been done, we can simply tap on edit it once again and here you'll be able to see that we get the latest 24.3.02 version of turnip drivers which is very useful as it might have better compatibility than the older versions of turnip graphics driver so definitely use the latest graphics driver now that the setup is completed all we'll do is tap on the three lines and then tap on the run button to start our brand new win later frost container once again all of your data which you might have inside winlater glipsy will be erased anyways there we go our windows emulator has successfully started and a great thing about having an s pen is that you'll notice wherever i tap on the s pen it will automatically move the cursor you will see the mouse cursor move so yeah just the process of owning a samsung galaxy tab i guess if we go to fixes section you will be able to see i don't recommend you guys to mess with any of these settings unless you want to fix some games or fix the x input you also get the option to launch input bridge inside winlater frost which is very useful to be honest we get lot of programs such as react os etc anyways let's go to system tools afterwards go to wine configuration and set the windows version as windows 10 and then tap on apply and ok once that has been done, now we should be all set to try out some PC games inside of the WinLater Frost. I only have GTA 5 and GTA 4 on my device for now. So let's try out GTA 5 and see how well does it work. But unfortunately, it is open in 800 by 600p resolution. So we'll enable full screen. We'll also disable VSync so that we can get more than 60 FPS and then test out how well does this game work inside of the WinLater Glyphsy. And also, you might get some freezing issue, but don't worry about it as you just saw. The game appeared to be frozen but it was just loading so you need to be patient when testing out some windows games on android anyways the greatest part about using winlater frost is the custom controllers that have been provided by the developer they are so easy to use and they work 100 percent for all games 
So we'll use the general custom input controls for on screen touch controls. We'll simply tap on the OK button and there we go our GTA 5 is successfully starting. I'll simply tap on the enter button and I have not added any sort of save file. So you'll be able to see how does it work when a new game is started. And here we go guys our game is about to begin. There we go it is super smooth. 30 fps no issues whatsoever win later glipsy really does do wonders in terms of gameplay performance but not just that i am pretty sure that we should be able to get almost 60 fps while emulating this game so i'll simply tap on the escape button afterwards let's go to the settings tab afterwards tap on enter then head on over to the graphics section and let me show you guys the graphics that it's using in terms of resolution we'll set it to full screen and apply changes we'll set it to 800 by 600 it doesn't really matter Let's scroll down and here make sure to set the vsync mode to off. Afterwards you can scroll down to see that the game should be working at very high graphics. So yeah I'll turn down some settings that do not require me to restart the game. Once that has been done we'll simply tap on the space button. Now let's just go ahead and tap on the escape button once again and there we go. Our game is running at super smooth 30 fps console level. I don't know why it's not exceeding 30 fps even though the GP utilization percentage is only 60. I think we need to use a save file if we need to exceed over 60 fps because this might be pre-rendered. So yeah do let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. Okay I was supposed to tap on mouse click right button but nonetheless <laughs> do let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the win later frost glipsy version i'll upload a full hand cam gameplay video of gta 5 with save file pretty soon on this simulator i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out